High school football is always a sport and tradition. Each season you have new players, new coaches, sometimes new schools. And tonight there was a brand new stadium at Covington Catholic. Actually, it, uh, yep, go ahead. I was going to say it's a showcase, but you go ahead. It's terrific. Same place that's been for years, but it's just underway. A complete renovation. It has new turf, a new press box, and stands. There are permanent lights for the first time in the 92-year history of CovCath. Newly completed Dennis Griffin Stadium was dedicated prior to tonight's game. As for the game, it wasn't much of one. Ryle scored on the first play from scrimmage. After that, it was all Covcath. Keenan Singleton was there to soak it all in. And just like that, Covcath lurched out of the dark ages. The halftime ceremony ushering in a new age of enlightenment. For the first time in 92 years, night football has finally found a permanent home in Park Hills. But the scoreboard lights work just fine all night, especially for the Colonels. First half action, A.J. Mayer goes all the way here. 17-yard touchdown ties the game 7-all with 5-11 to play in the first half. You don't want to get into a duel with this dual-threat quarterback. Mayer to Alex Chrisman, who's all alone for 48 yards. 14-7 Colonels. Mayer's counterpart on the Ryle side, Jake Smith, learning on the job in his first start. Throwing late over the middle would be a costly lesson. Sam Shue picks it off and returns it to the four-yard line. Proud Mayers keep on burning up the night. AJ to his younger brother Michael for the four-yard touchdown reception. Then Austin McGinnis powers it through for a short touchdown run. Cuffcap snaps a three-game losing streak to Ryle. Turn out the lights. This party's over as this young fan waves goodnight. 49-17 the final. 